Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just realized I have a pimple right here, but it's okay because this is Women of the Bible episode three. It's been, it's been, I don't even know how long, let me check. But this is the third part, my other two parts, I feel like we're like four months ago, but we are back at it. Yet, oh my gosh. The last one was eight months ago. And the one before that, nine months ago. So basically, since I started this series, a woman could have gotten pregnant and had a baby by now. And I've only done three episodes. So this is, or this is the third. I've only done two episodes. So this is the third episode. I'm really going to try to keep it going this time. But we are going to be focusing on Mary Magdalene. Is that, am I pronouncing her name right? I'll tell you the story of Mary Magdalene. Magdalene. This episode's gonna focus on Mary Magdalene, um, and I really hope you guys like it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. Unlike Ruth and Esther, who were my two previous parts for this series, if you need to go check them out, Mary Magdalene does not have her own a book of the Bible. Also, she's not Jesus' mother Mary. There's a bunch of Marys in the Bible, but Mary Magdalene was not Jesus' mother. But her story is still super awesome and her story uh, is usually used as an example for dedication and faith in the Lord. She was also the first person to spread the full story of the gospel, which we are going to talk about in this video. We're going to take a look at Luke chapter 8 verses 1 and 2. Soon afterwards, he went through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and, and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. To put this in like a bit of perspective, in Mark 9 verses 14 through 29, there was a boy who Jesus healed with a demon that caused him to be mute would make him fall into violent outbursts, foam at the mouth, and would make him throw himself into bodies of water, and Jesus casted that demon out of him. The thing is, that was a singular demon in that boy, so I can't even imagine what having several demons must have looked like and felt like, but she definitely would have felt shame having those demons, and it also would have been linked to physical and psychological illness and other issues. Other than that verse, uh, Luke chapter 8 verse 2, we don't know too much about Mary and her backstory and the demons other than her being a Jewish woman from a western shore um, of the Sea of Galilee. The demon possession she dealt with would cause her to be bruised, injured, and obviously in a ton of pain, and it also would have caused severe emotional issues and trauma. The only person who was able to look past all of this was Jesus, and he completely healed her of all of the demons, um, despite her battered appearance because of said demons. Because of this healing from Jesus, she decided to serve the Lord out of her gratitude and thankfulness and became a female disciple. This is only one reason why Mary's story is so awesome because she also was the first person to share the completed story of the gospel. Mary went to the tomb after Jesus's, um, what's it called? Crucifixion. And she cried when she saw that Jesus wasn't there. And we're gonna start at John chapter 20, uh, verses 11 through 18. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stood to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And said, she said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Suppo supposing him to be a, the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, please tell me where you have laid him, and I will and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, and she turned and said to him in 
Aramic, Marbona. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I've seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. Something really cool about this is that back then women were not respected like they are today and it was almost unheard of for a woman to be in charge of sharing such a big news like the resurrection of Jesus. These are just two major parts in her story but of course like I said she was also a female disciple after uh, Jesus had taken the demons out of her so she was also with Jesus I'm assuming through a lot of his ministry and stuff. Um, so also super awesome in that way. This is going to be the end of the episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed um, learning about the story of Mary Magdalene as much as I did because I also learned a ton as I researched for this video and stuff. But I really hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow my new Instagram if you haven't already and I love you all so 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 much. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night and yeah love you guys bye